All right, hey everybody, welcome to The Coding Zoo. This is your first time joining. My name is Shane, and this is the HTML Building Block Series. In today's lesson, we are gonna cover a new input element in HTML5 for entering a telephone number. So if you've never used that before, there's some pretty neat stuff, especially when you're using it on a web page that's viewed through a phone, and we'll actually show you what that looks like. So if you've never used it before, it's pretty neat stuff. Hey, I recommend you stick around. We're gonna jump right in. Hey, Jai. I see you. Hi. 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 Bye, Jai. Bye. You ready to program? No. Okay, well, I'll make her program later. Right now, you and I can jump into that. Let's do it. All right, so hey, on my desktop, as usual, I have this index page. I've already set it up and I've got a little CSS file attached. So in the CSS, we have some selectors. Uh, I'll go over those in a few minutes. It had really nothing to do with the lesson, but kind of a little bonus if you, if you want to learn how this works. Let's go back over to the index file. So I've set up a form. I've got a field set. We go over setting up a form and a field set in previous lessons. Be sure to check that out three or four lessons back. Uh, I've got the legend input examples. And I've got this label for a phone input. And then I have this span class inside the span class. I just put the format uh, text here and it shows, you know, how the phone number should be formatted. Pretty simple stuff. Let's jump in. Let's go ahead and, and try out that new HTML input type. All right, so it's input type and it's for a telephone so the type would be tell t-e-l so they made it kind of short so you didn't have to spell out the word telephone i'm going to give it id equals a phone and i'm going to give it a name equal to phone of course id is can be used by javascript or css to select it the name is what's passed to it to the server when you submit this form element so I'm gonna give it a uh, name of phone and I'm going to close it off there. I'm gonna click save. I'm gonna go up here and click refresh. And I have this enter your phone number and here's the input type for a phone number. And it says the format should be X, 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 X. I think I said too many X's, but you get it. Let me go back. I'm just gonna add a little I'm gonna add a little break there, just real quick. Okay, so refresh, there we go. So I'm gonna enter a number, there we go. And notice I can actually put characters there, so it's not restricting it. Um, so it just kind of looks like a text box, right? So what's special about that? Well, let's, uh, let's check it out on a uh, telephone screen. So I'm gonna show you a similar example um, where this element is used in a, in a web page on a telephone. Check out this video right here. So basically I have this code pen snippet. You'll notice that I'm uh, highlighting um, this type of telly, this input box here, and it displays it out and I'm typing inside of it. Notice when I started typing, see these numbers came up? You've got a, a special keyboard just for the telephone numbers. So anytime you click on the input type of telly, it's gonna bring up the keyboard for numbers. So that's pretty neat. Um, so the type of telly, or type of tell rather, when used on a phone, when you use the web page, is viewed by a phone. If the user clicks on the text box, it's gonna bring up a different keyboard than the alphanumeric keyboard. It's gonna bring up the number pad. Pretty neat, I like that. So let's jump back over to the input type. Now I'm gonna add a required. Now I can make this required. So basically, I'm gonna save it. I'm gonna click refresh and if I don't enter the number, what happens? It tells me to please fill out this field. So pretty neat. I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna add another attribute. This attribute, I'm actually gonna cut and paste this at the same time. 
I'm going to do a pattern. So like many of the other input elements, you can specify a pattern. Now this will force the input text box to only allow numbers. I'm allowing the numbers zero through nine, three times, followed by a dash, zero through nine, three times, followed by a dash, zero through nine, four times. So that's kind of a, basically a regular expression showing exactly what pattern I expect in this text box. And if you don't meet that pattern, what will happen? Well, because I've set a pattern up, this element's going to provide validation automatically for you. The browser's smart enough to, to see this pattern and say, does the input match this pattern? And if it doesn't, it's going to throw an alert basically to your code. It's going to tell your code, basically, um, if you're listening, that, hey, that's not a valid input, right? So I set up this little span here. Now, if you go over to this CSS, the span should show a check mark. Um, should show a check mark if it's valid. And if it's not valid, it should show an X. So I'm basically saying, hey, find the input field and find the invalid input field and the span right after that, put an X. If there isn't an in invalid input field, well, find the valid input field and right after that, find the span and put a check mark. So it's either gonna find, it's gonna find one of those, it's either valid or invalid, can't be anything else. And it's gonna put a check or an X. All right, so let's go back over to my index page. I'm gonna remove this break there. I wanna bring this back up, click save, and click refresh. And there we go. So I've got enter your phone number and I've got the format and then I have the format it should be and there's a big X. So why is there a big X? Well, because the format in the blank doesn't match what's required, doesn't match that pattern. So let's say I typed in a uh, two, 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 two. Well, you know, that doesn't match the pattern either. How about one, 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 dash, two, 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 dash, three, 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 three. What do you know? It's a, the browser has told me that is a valid format. Pretty cool, pretty neat. Now what happens if I, if I submit with an invalid format? Well, it won't let me. It actually tells me the request didn't match um, the format required. Uh, now this varies from browser to browser. Chrome's pretty good about supporting this. The others, uh, if they're not there already, they'll catch up. All right, so that is pretty neat. It tells you whether there's a valid format or not. It won't let the user submit it until there is a valid format. I recommend that if you use pattern, you be sure to tell your user what pattern you're expecting. Maybe you're expecting a phone number that doesn't have the dash in the middle. And maybe you wanna be nice and put some JavaScript and put the dash there for them after they type the first three numbers. But we'll get to that in a different lesson. But anyway, pretty neat. So you have the input type of tell. It's better than a text box for entering your telephone number because for one good reason, uh, it, it's perfect for phones. It will actually bring up the right keyboard, the number keypad versus an alphanumeric keyboard. So that's pretty neat, I love it. And you can use the pattern attribute and enforce those rules of only entering numbers and, and dashes. So I hope that makes sense to you. Again, if, if not, leave me a message below or check us out on uh, Facebook and we will definitely get back to you and answer your questions. Uh, if you haven't checked out thecodingzoo.com, check it out. We have more lessons there. If this is your first time joining, hey, if you haven't subscribed yet and you'd like to see more videos on learning how to program, we have HTML, CSS, and JavaScript videos. We're going to have more like Java and Python coming soon. And we'd love to have you. Our goal at the Coding Zoo is to help others like you learn how to program. I learned on my own. Didn't go to school. I recommend school if you can. But if you can't, hey, it is possible to learn on your own and make a career out of it. I've been doing it for 18 years. And you can too. So if you uh, like the video, click like. If you didn't like it, click dislike. Let me know how we can improve. Again, we're here to help you. So I, I would love to hear your input either way. So, hey, thanks for joining us. I hope you have a great day. We'll see you next time. Bye.